So you guys probably don't notice this because I'm animated, but I need a haircut. Now, here's the thing about me with haircuts. I've never really paid more than $12 for a haircut, and that's because growing up, my parents usually brought me to those cheaper Asian barbers so that we could save money. The only places I knew where to cut my hair were those Asian barbers. And as a kid, I really hated getting my hair cut. Whenever my parents wanted to bring me to go cut my hair, I'd, I'd whine, I'd hide on their tables, I'd hide on their chairs. And that's because most of the time, these Asian barbers that my parents took me to were a 50-50 chance that I'd either get a good haircut or a bad haircut. And I wasn't really that good at communicating with them because I mostly spoke English, they spoke Chinese. So it ended up me trying to speak broken Chinese, trying to explain to them how I wanted them to cut my hair. And if I'm lucky, they would cut my hair right. And if I was wrong, well, I'd look like this. Until one day I met the barber Elaine and she was great. She basically read my mind. She knew exactly how I wanted my hair and she was basically responsible with the way I style my hair today. And once you find the right barber, you stick with them for life. You never cheat on your barber. That was until one day I entered to cut my hair with my dad and we found out that Elaine no longer worked there. And I was about to leave, but then my dad told me it'd be rude for me to leave and I was forced to get my hair cut and I didn't like it. So then I taught myself how to cut my own hair. Something you might not know about me is that there's this big mole on the back of my head. And this one time I went to go get my hair cut and the barber just cut it. And of course he apologized and I said, okay, it's cool, it's cool, don't worry, I'm good. But then he cut it a second time and then he continued to cut my hair. And I didn't notice at the time until after I left, but I touched the area where he cut and my entire hand was wet. Damn, that's a lot of blood. And I was just so shook by that, I just didn't cut my hair for a really long time. On the topic of hair, as a kid, I used to have a rat tail. And people have told me that I looked ugly with it, but honestly, I didn't really care. As to why I had a rat tail, my mom thought it'd be cute for me to have a rat tail as a baby, and as I grew up, I just developed an attachment to it, and I just kept it. Until I turned 20 and I cut it off. This one time, this dude from my high school came up to me and asked me if my rat tail was part of my religion, Probably because when he thought of Asian people, he thought of this. Unless there is a religion for people with rat tails. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, follow me on my socials, and I'm going to go get my hair cut. Bye.